Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make this puddle for your scene to make your scene more realistic. You can adjust the puddle's scale, puddle's color, and we will use the building function without any additional asset. I made this tutorial about one year ago on Bilibili and it achieved 28,000 plays. And this time let's do it again in YouTube. Hope you like it. Let's do it. Right click on the content browser, add a new photo we call the puddle. Open it, right click, material, and then rename it M underscore puddle. Okay, open it. Click on the material. You can see the left of the material domain. We change the surface to deferred decal. Land mode opaque should be translucent. Press the keyboard three and click on the free space we will use it for the base color and double click it you can change the color to uh, gray or white or whatever and we hold the key one clicked and right click on the venue so let's convert to parameter let's rename it with color uh, multiply Let's multiply it together and collect it to the base color. Yeah, it should our puddle's base color. Next, without using any texture sample, we use uh, we use noise to instead. And we have to control the scale of the noise. So right click and, and then we input world position. Let's multiply it with a parameter. Yeah, hold the one key on the keyboard and left click and right click convert to parameter let's rename it uh, scale and multiply it together collect it to the position let's change the scale default value to one save it and this should be our shape of the puddle okay next we will make the opacity and the roughness of this puddle we have a shortcut to make the parameter you just hold the s on the keyboard and left click Okay, and rename it with opacity and default value. Let's change to one. Let's multiply it with opacity and collect it to opacity. Next uh, is roughness. The roughness uh, is a little different. We drag the node and we input the one minus. And also we hold the S key on the keyboard to make a parameter cause roughness let's multiply it together it's so roughness okay at last we make the normal hold the three on the keyboard and let's change it to blue no it's black no let's change it to blue okay collect it to the normal at last let's save it Okay, this puddle is ready. Right click on the puddle to create a material instance and drag it directly to the scene. But you can see nothing happened. It's too small, don't worry. Let's do a little judgment. First, uh, let's make it bigger and we change the scale one to 10. Right, let's open the instance, select the color, opacity, roughness, and scale. A scale because it's noise so when the scale is bigger it's smaller so let's change it to very small and the puddle is getting bigger okay look I can change the color yes it's uh, the number is bigger it's getting wider so I think uh, this color is is good okay 0 0.15 Opacity, you can change it. Okay, roughness. Roughness. That looks good. And let's play this level to see the real effect. That's today's tutorial. If you like it, be sure to subscribe and give me a like. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.